Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here at the Toasty Bros, and today I'm going to be doing a computer in a shoe box. I've done so many builds inside of different types of boxes. I've put clear panels on them, I've done all sorts of different things, and I was like, why have I not built a compact one inside of a shoe box? Well, here you go. Alright, so let's get the last little overview. So I just did this like a normal time lapse, so go ahead and hit the power button there. This was actually a reset switch and you can kind of see it doesn't have the button on it, but that doesn't really matter because all you need is a little short to start your computer. So you can see this is kind of like the I.O. In a, in a way. I, don't, I didn't actually put the uh, metal cover there, it's just all kind of out. And then you got your graphics card. Um, sticking out there now what I did right here is um, I actually made it to where we got a little bit of slack right there So you can actually open the case as normal and the power button and fan are basically separate from the rest of the build In a sense that those can actually move um, Everything else just stays in one spot. You can see I use zip ties to do everything uh, I only had to use hot glue in a couple spots, which really you could have gotten away with not using that um, I only used it right here just because it kind of uh, cracked there a little bit after I cut through it and then I did use it right here to hold the power switch on which I could have used um, a one zip tie around that too just would have been a little flimsy but yeah you can see it actually I mean it turned out pretty good for the time that I did it in um, obviously it's just a shoebox PC so if you're ever doing this you're not really trying to put a lot of time into it anyways 
But uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more custom builds like this, check out our channel because I've done plenty of builds inside of boxes. I've done one um, that was actually my main rig that was water cooled, and it had a see-through panel on it and everything. And that was actually what my case was for a while because I didn't feel like buying one. But uh, yeah, we hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for more custom builds like this.